Hey guys, welcome back to Xander Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. Marketing is the heartbeat to any business. Whether your small business has existed for years or just recently started up, finding the most effective marketing strategies is critical. That's because small businesses don't have the same resources to execute as larger scale firms. Marketing attracts prospects. Prospects become buyers and buyers provide profit. A marketing plan will clearly outline how you will reach your ideal customers by effectively implementing your marketing strategy. There are countless ways to promote your business, so it's important to identify and focus on the most effective tactics. So many people just focus on showing and promoting their products. Making it obvious you don't get sales. Stop. No one on the For You page cares. They don't know you. Make majority of your videos about your customers. What do they struggle with? How can your product help? I would be doing videos like this. Seem like an expert in your field and stop asking for sales. This is how to market like a pro. And once you get this concept, you'll never market the same way anymore. First, here's how most people market and why they fail. They send traffic to a page and hope to convert people to start buying or using their product. Here's what the pros do instead. They optimize for short time periods called micro moments. Let me explain. Think of your marketing outreach as a series of micro steps. Your job is to take users one step at a time until they love your product and give you as much of their time as possible. For example, I'm currently giving TikTok around 30 minutes of my time, but I give Snapchat zero seconds because I stopped using it. With email, for example, people might give you two seconds to read the subject line, then they give you 15 seconds to read the email, then 30 seconds to read the landing page, and so on. Here's how you can do it. Break down your marketing outreach into every micro step of few seconds each, and use curiosity to move them one step at a time all the way until they use and love your product. Small business owners usually put out content regarding information on their how-tos, strategies, or tactics. However, information is everywhere on the internet and anyone can find it. As a small business owner, you need to figure out how you stand out with your brand information. This involves creating a message that changes people on their beliefs and how they think. Talk about your story, your successes, your struggles, your fears and failures. This will transform their lives in one way or another. Maybe you just motivating another person is an easy way of getting a new loyal customer. If you run an online business and don't have a massive budget for marketing, I have a free tip for you. When I started my online business, I didn't have any money for marketing. So we had to get a little bit creative. We were in a bunch of Facebook groups that were particular to our niche, um, but most of them said that they were strictly no advertising. So what we would do is we'd get a friend to take a screenshot of our website with the URL in the top and basically ask people if they've ever bought from this website before, um, what their experience was, etc. And what we found was a lot of people would search our URL and go straight to our website and it did end up in quite a few sales. So it's really easy. First, all you have to do is find a group with a lot of members in your niche. And secondly, get a friend to post in there asking if anyone's ever bought from your phone and what their experience was. As a consumer, I'm sure you know that experiences create lasting memories. So it's important as a small business owner to sell emotions and save all the technical details for later. You want to make it very clear how your product or service will make them feel after they use it. Describe in detail how the transformation looks like or how it will change their life. People buy your product or service for what it will do for them not because of how it looks or who is selling it. It's all about experiences. So feed into their desires based on what you sell. Pop-up stores are not meant to sell people anything. What? If I open a physical store, I want to make money, right? Yeah, yes and no. Let's take the Glossier store as an example. A couple years ago, the company opened a flagship store in New York City. The store was basically Disneyland for adults. So what was the goal of this pop-up store? To let you experience Glossier and its community. Being in a gorgeous space, taking pictures, speaking to the Glossier representatives that are not trying to sell you anything and are super friendly. That's the power of brand experiences. And that is literally the future of brand marketing. Ever heard of the Taco Bell pop-up hotel in Palm Springs? Springs? Yes, Taco Bell now has a hotel. How about the Bumble Cafe opening in New York City? Yeah, Bumble, the dating app. 
anyway guys that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you guys next time